Look who we're with. Cody's here. He's helping me do some wiring on the van. And his fiance Heather. Hi. Today we are working on the van like we will be for the next 500 videos. Teresa laid out all the linoleum. It's fitting really well. It looks really cool. I'm stacking these up to do the bed. The wiring used to go all along here. It was just kind of attached to the outside there, which wasn't a big deal when all the panels were up, but now that they're down, it's just hideous and in the way. And there's room inside of here. So I'm pulling it all out, running it up here, inside there, just to clean it up a little bit. We have wrapped the wires with copper pipe insulation so that when they're in there loose, they're not banging around making a lot of noise. Here we are trying to decide how tall to make the bed. There are pros and cons to everything. We refuse to remove the wheels on our bikes because we ride them a lot more when we don't when it's easy to get them in and out. And since we'll be riding more than we'll be sleeping in the van, remember we're not living in the van full time. This is just for when we're not in the airstream. It makes sense to prioritize the bikes and less sleep height. Is this enough height to climb in and sleep up there? Yeah, I think we could probably bring it down like maybe an inch even. Um, but I feel like, I feel like it's doable for, you know, living out of for a month or two at a time. I feel like it's good. The real benefit to having it so high is I can attach it to the metal here instead of having it come like right there by the windows. So here I've measured the height so I can make sure it's the same all the way around. But part of me really wants to attach it above the windows for that strength and I don't have to then I may not even have to put supports below it. I might just be able to make brackets straight to the wall. Now, we're planning on cabinetry right here. So I think I will still have vertical supports on this side, but on that side, I think I'll leave them off. And we want at least a little bit of wiggle room under there so we can pull them in and out. So that's probably more room than we need. We could probably go halfway down this. So probably 45 or 46 inches, maybe even 47. We made some more good progress today, but unfortunately it was the kind of progress that it's not super obvious to everyone else. We're taking the time while we've got it stripped down to do everything right. Huge win today was getting the wiring that used to be dangling out here. You can see that in previous videos. It's all tucked inside the channel. I get why Ford didn't do that. That would have been a pain to do, but it's, it actually feels like it was meant to be there. Really good way to do that. It's out of the way. It's going to be quiet because it's wrapped in foam. It's not going to be rattling around. And we've been cutting up some awesome Trek mountain bike boxes that the local Trek shop gave us. Huge shout out to them. And we're figuring out where we're going to be doing cabinets, how we're doing the bed. The batteries, we're going to get another one of these, put it right next to it. So this is an incredible battery. It's a Trojan 31 AGM. I don't remember what group it is, but it's rated for 100 amp hours. And we have destroyed this thing. Well, we should have destroyed it how we've treated it. We've drained it down below 10 volts multiple times in the Airstream. So 100 amp hours, that means 50 usable amp hours. We'll get one more. That'll be 100 usable amp hours. That'll be plenty for what we're ever doing in the van. We're not doing nearly anything that we do in the Airstream. So we just need our inverter to be wired near that. We'll run our solar to that. It'll be pretty simple. Run the fridge off of that. That way we'll have a house bank that we run the fridge, inverter, maybe interior lights, and any accessories that we want. That way we never drain the car's battery. And we've got a transfer switch that'll transfer it so if we ever need to use these batteries to jump the car, we just push a button. Or if we're driving, we can also use the car's alternator to charge them. Where solar may not even be necessary, but we like having solar. And we want to show you how that solar install goes. So today was a big day. We got the floor done, got that perfectly trimmed up. We've got our fridge sitting back in here. That's going to stay there. And we have a really solid plan. Oh, here's a sneak peek. That's probably where the boats are going to go. Anyway, big day. Not a lot to show you, but a lot has gotten done. And we're taking our time and doing it right instead of just rushing it and doing it the cheapest possible way. Our big primary concerns are 
keeping it relatively affordable but doing it with good materials and keeping it lightweight we do not want to put 500 pounds of building materials in here and then load all of our stuff in and then try to tow a heavy airstream we just want to keep it light keep it simple keep it strong mm -hmm. 